everyone, it's Alexandria and Michael. Welcome to Never Better Club. Today we're taking on not one, but two building blocks of heat. Do you think that Michael can handle this as well as Brian Ames did? So today we're taking on Lay for Works building blocks, a favorite challenge of ours. Yes, yeah, it's a great one, and this is really good for beginners and people who are looking to build their heat tolerance. There is a scale of low heat to high heat, four building blocks, and they look like little chocolate Legos, and they are super delicious, so this makes it a lot of fun. And it's a pretty simple challenge. Um, I'd like to just get into the rules so we can talk about this a little more in depth, but so you know, the rules are as follows. Um, as always, you cannot consume any food or drink during this challenge. Um, this is a League of Fire challenge, by the way. I think we already said that. But we uh, will read our short disclaimer, and then your building blocks must be open from your sealed pack on camera. Start by eating your first piece, which is a yellow foil, and then you wait one minute. Then you consume the second piece, which is blue foil, and you wait a minute, and you continue on all the way to the fourth piece. But after you consume your fourth piece, you begin drum roll, a three minute burn time. And then your challenge is up. It says repeat as necessary. Today we'll be repeating one additional time. So why are we doing this today? Why are we doing two? We are on a quest to do two of every League of Fire challenge. And as always, I like to remind our viewers, when we say we, we mean Michael. Correct. But today I am going to hold his hand through this challenge and um, we will do it together. Because sometimes I don't want to do two of a challenge, but I'll do two of this one because it is that delicious and I love late for work so very much. All right. Yeah. Want to read our disclaimers? Go ahead. Okay. I, Alexandria, am over 18 years of age of sound mind and have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers and manufacturers will under no circumstance be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof, I acknowledge and agree to this without question. All right, I'm Michael Morgan, over 18 years of age of sound mind, have registered the hot sauce park disclaimer on the League of Fire website. Where I accept that the League of Fire, the suppliers, and manufacturers will, under no circumstances, be responsible or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product, multiples, there multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. All you right. know, it's been a little while since Michael and I did a challenge together. I've been doing challenges on and off our wonderful YouTube channel here at Never Better Club almost every single day, but Michael has been so busy with very specific things. I am so... Oh, that too? Oh, I forgot this about this challenge. There's two of them, oh. and we have two boxes. That's hilarious. Oh, I forgot all four of them. <laughs> hey, let me check really quick. Could you open my box, and then while you're doing that, I'll check and see if there's stacking points. I'm not sure that we have time for this today, but I'm just going to check. You get a bonus point for the third pack eaten and two bonus points for the sixth pack eaten. Okay. So it kind of would be beneficial if you went through all these, but I don't know if we have time. But each one is technically a challenge. One is a challenge, yes. Right. So, okay. So we have four challenges. Wow, four. I actually don't know. You know, there's powder. These are all packed with powder. I. Okay, this is a beginner challenge, but I don't know if I'm prepped enough for four packs. I could do four. Just in a good time. <laughs> Let's see how we feel. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, Let's we're get gonna get this it. open. Yeah. Leave that closed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah Sorry. Two. Yeah, All right. Let's do point. it. All right. Wait. Before we we'll go ahead and open, I'm gonna chug a little milk just in case. Yellow first. My tiny milk cup. One Ooh, minute. So cute. I really do appreciate the fact that the rolls are actually in the box. That's not always the case. We got a few cards there too. That's fun. Who's yeah. That? Steven the Stinger. I don't know Steven, but he may be um, from the UK or something. Steven owns Hot Pods and he's a Master Chili Challenge compare. Steven's an LOF of Hero. Cool. And then uh, the Terminator. Michael's like, cool, I want to eat this. Okay, okay, we're going to do it. And the, and the burning question is is Michael going to handle this? as well as Brian Ams did. Brian Ams said this was hot. We're going to link to his video below. He um, he was freaking out a little bit. Brian Ams is awesome. A little mild freak out. Absolutely. Absolutely we do. Brian Ams is the best. 
Okay, what's the order again? Yellow. Yellow, and then what? After yellow oh, is he's got the directions blue. There. Good. Okay. Yellow, blue, and then green, red? I'm just flipping them over. Yep. Over. Gotta make sure you go in order. Okay, yellow first. Cheers, guys, because then we can talk. Oh, yeah, mine's not unwrapped. <laughs> See, I, I did admit earlier, I've been doing a lot of challenges, and some of them are a little less structured than this. So I have to get back into the flow of like, structured. sit up straight and open your package on camera and smile. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mint. Ha ha. Chocolate. This tastes like an Olive Garden mint. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like an Olive Garden mint. Lay forward. Mm, tasty. I know what they're doing. Very tasty. They're like, we'll hit you with the childhood memories. Ah. Sorry. <clears throat> chew, 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 chew. A little bit of heat in that. Nice little kick. Ah. Uh, All right, one minute. One minute. One minute to unwrap the next one. Good idea. Continu continuing along here. Anyways, back to Brian Ams is awesome. Brian Ams is awesome. And Michael and I are actually pretty big fans. We love watching his content because he, um, he loves to burn. And it is, it is so entertaining to watch him burn. I swear, it's like, you know, we don't miss many of his videos, unless it's an accident. I like it when he walks to the grocery store. Uh, Heck yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's a good section. General, so. That's a good one for you, yeah. Brian, if you ever see this. Yeah. Um, shopping for hot sauce. Shopping for hot sauce, that was fun. And that you were at that really cool store in Ohio, which is, what is it? I want to call it Bucky's, it's not. <laughs> Jungle Gyms, yeah. Because think about it. That's on our bucket list, like we want to get yeah. out there. What's the first thing you do when you go to a grocery store? You go to the hot sauce you section. Go to the hot sauce aisle. And then you just stay there. No, just kidding. Not normally because there's not enough hot sauce. But it looks like at Jungle Gyms, that's a different story. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. This is peanut butter, I think. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Slaps. Mmm. All right. That is good. That tastes like Halloween to me. Oh, uh, it's tasting. Ghost pepper. Mmm. And I love ghost uh, pepper bread. Ah. Uh. Okay. Love it. That's I mean, my favorite one. A it, grocery store so good. that sells challenges. That's so cool. I know. What? We need to normalize the, this. The, the closest thing that we have is a what's called a schnooks here in the Midwest. And they sell pocky chips? Okay. <laughs> Occasionally. They used to. They used to. They used yeah. to sell, yeah. Um, Rest in peace, Pocky Chip. Yeah. Hopefully it comes back this year. R.I.P. Yeah, bring back the Pocky Chip, man. Like... Bring it back. Do it. YOLO. Put, put it in a lock and key. Absolutely. Make sure that... 21 and up. Who cares? I'm over 21. I don't care. <laughs> under the age of 18, can't get their hands on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. 18, whatever. But, like, if you need to make it 21 just to appease everyone, for real. I just want to burn, and I would like to see other people burn too. And I think the pocky chip, as Chili had say, it's a great gateway challenge. It was our gateway Oops. challenge. Green. What happened? Oh, we didn't unwrap it. Ah, oh, faster! I think this one's mint too, or like peppermint. one of them's peppermint, one spearmint. Yeah, peppermint. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. You can't feel the seam here. They're very, they're very nicely packaged. And I wonder, does Jason and Kim, Dylan? I know those are all the people at Late for Work. Do you do this by hand? Cheers. Pepper, man. Okay. Feed that. I don't really like minty things. Oh, I think this flew off with something. I'm going to eat it. Um, I don't really like minty things. But I think the peppermint one is better than the spearmint or whatever it is. Are you getting any heat? No. <laughs> our, our tolerance is very high right now. You guys should have seen what I did yesterday. Uh, Some of you, I'm sorry, I'm not done. 
I like to enjoy myself. Um. Uh, some of you watching may have seen what I did yesterday, but it's a very niche group of people in something called Capsaicin Crew. And Capsaicin Crew is like a home to me. I love it <clears throat> so much. And I was gifted with the beautiful experience at Summer Rapids of eating, consuming something called an extra large typhoon. And it is a tincture candy that normally is like probably half the size of this. I think it's a little, like little tiny block. But the one I had in my mouth was more than double the size of this block right here. And I believe the maker of it, his name's Ryan, said that it had four grams of 16 million cap crystals in it. And let me tell you, I had that thing in my mouth for 20 minutes and I about thought I was going to pass out. I really did. I had I, to I had to go sit down after I did it. I was sorry about that here in a second. Oh. oh how'd you unwrap it? I didn't even see you do it. <laughs> like a ninja. Houdini. This is the Reaper one. Mm -hmm. By the way, I got a little heat from the last one. It's burning in the back of my throat. Hmm. What's the flavor of this? It's very distinct. Pumpkin spice. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> it is very distinct. I'm like, why does this taste like a Yankee candle? <laughs> oh, I taste that now. Oh yeah, it tastes like a Yankee candle. Not bad. It just does. <clears throat> tastes like fall. It kind of reminds me of the V5, like a fire chug. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it does. I've got a lot of those. Oh yeah. I forgot about that time in your life. What, burn uh, It wasn't that long ago. Three minutes. Oh, like ten years ago. It's like a, a, an eternity ago. So, capsaicin is is safe. Um, you know, obviously, if you, have, if you have some type of underlying medical condition or something, you, you should see it, you know, a doctor or a physician before you get into the world of competitive uh, spicy eating. But the human body has a threshold for everything. And what Alexander did yesterday, I would say uh, it's definitely what I would consider kind of pro level challenge. I wouldn't recommend anyone ever do it in their entire life, actually. It's, it, um, it, it's, it was scary. And that's why I didn't finish the whole thing. I, the, I did about half of one. The amount of 16 million crystal and that consuming that, I think is very dangerous. Um, yeah. Because again, you know, the human body will perceive anything at the right volume. Like you can die from drinking too much water. Um, I don't think there's a lot of studies yet around like exactly how much capsaicin could kill you. Yeah, I don't think many people consume four grams of pure 16 million I don't think your body would even allow you in most cases. Yeah. It would reject it, but it's that's so concentrated that I really do think that was a pretty dangerous challenge. You got some mouth burn. I'm not kidding. You have better yeah. tolerance. I do. I, I, I do every day. Let me tell you guys, I do. I work on my tolerance every day. I, I might get I might get some heat after doing um, a second one of these, but right now I, I'm like a solid one. You know, I do wonder if my tongue is raw from yesterday, like burnt. It could be. Um, All right, we're gonna do we're gonna tongue. do the yellow first. Yellow, yellow blue, green, blue, green, red. red. Yep. So let's go ahead and open up the, yeah. the yellow. You have got a minute left. Perfect timing. Cool. So yeah, it's good to talk about these things with you guys, and it's good for, um, I don't know, it's just good to be reminded of it. Like, uh, capsaicin consumed in normal quantities, just like most everything in life consumed in normal quantities, um, that is meant to be consumed, I'll say, it won't hurt you, and it might even be good for you if you consume it in the right amount, but like, there are stupid challenges out there, and I do them, and Michael does them. And you won't see a lot of them here on our YouTube channel, but um, they're they're the underground challenges that people make at home and they should send to you because they're like, hey, watch this. Look what I can make. Can you handle it? And um, these are professional level quality challenges we're doing right now in front and, of you. Like for work is a very... This is a very personal challenge, but you might ask like why, you know, sometimes people ask, why do you do challenges? And well, it's because there's a sport called competitive chili eating. 
And this is a great way to build and maintain tolerance. Absolutely. That's why that's one sure, of the reasons. Fun, and now we, we, we treat it as training. Yeah. And we continue to do it because it's fun. It is so much fun. But this is great training. When you are at a professional level, you need to continue to consume capsaicin on a daily basis. Cheers. And this is one way to do it. And it's fun. And you get points for it on League of Fire. So why not? And delicious. All garden mint. We're back there. Back to the mints. Except the all garden mints, I think, are a little stronger tasting. Like a little more minty. I don't like it. No, they're meant to. No, I don't mean it. Now I'm going to go to all garden. Yeah, breadsticks and salad. Mm. Soup and salad and breadsticks. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are new to the world of competitive chili eating, maybe you caught this video. My goal is to upgrade this belt that I won in San Diego last year to the North America belt. So we have a lot of training to do. Yeah, a lot of building blocks of heat to consume. Quite, quite excited for that. Yes. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> but you know, I think about sports in general and you know, all sports have like varying levels of danger. You know, you think about the difference between drag racing, um, maybe racing on a track versus Formula One race car driving, right? Like they're, they're all different levels of, of risk. Um, and, you know, I think that's the same thing for really most sports, you know, boxing, including football. Including like, competitive chill eating, yeah, absolutely. Competitive chill eating. Yeah. Um, like if I was, you know, maybe I, you know, as a hobby, if you drag, drag race cars, you might not feel so comfortable jumping into a Formula One race car. Right? Like, right. They're kind of different things and you have to kind of work your way up to it. So yeah. So analogies. It's, no, it's absolutely a perfect cool. analogy. Ooh, Sla slacking, I'm talking. slipping. I'm, ta I'm turning into an Alexandria. Yeah. Talking. Monologuing. You know, I'm good at monologuing, but I'm not really a huge talker. Am I like admit that about me? Let's have a relationship little conversation right now. Um, like, no, there's no wrong answer. Like, cheers. Okay, cheers. Am I a chatty Kathy? One of those? I don't think I am. Like, I'm really good at being silent. Like a cat. I am like a cat. But then I want treats, and I'm like, meow. Start screaming like Samson. I don't know. I'm enjoying this one. This is my favorite. Maybe mm. the peanut butter. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, sorry. Jumping the gun. <clears throat> I like to make things into mush before I swallow them. Ah, uh, so like, I don't swallow pieces of chocolate whole. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's contextual. It's been a couple weeks since we've done a uh, League of Fire and Everybody Club in the video here, so we're just excited to talk. Yeah, to be and... on camera. Oh no, you, me and talking, yeah. No, I'm, I don't know. All sorts of relevant, you know, news and relevant things going on in the Chilihead world right now. There is. Speaking of which, uh, what did you guys think of Super Hot, the new Hulu documentary? Yeah, comment below. It's fun to talk about it. It really yeah. is, because I think a lot of people have varying opinions on it, and Michael and I um, watched all of it, and I think the coolest part was seeing people that we know really well in the documentary. I could throw out names, but I won't because we know most of the people uh, that appear in the documentary from time to time. Some of the major people we don't know well, but um, there's a few episodes with some competitive chili eaters that are featured in it and we know them really well. And um, we're just really happy for them. Like how cool to be featured on a TV series and then get to talk about what you're so passionate about, you know? I think it's pretty awesome. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think so too. Um, I mean, it was, what was your favorite, what was your favorite moment or part? Do you have one? Let's get this in our think mind. about that. Yeah, favorite, me too. Favorite moment might have been when the UK Chili Queen Shahina competed against Johnny Scoville in the boxing ring. I thought that was so cool. You literally, you took the words from your mouth. <laughs> you did. What was the epic, epic battle? I 
a few other favorite parts. I think the areas that some people maybe kind of complain a little bit about, you know, it's it's it was made for entertainment. Mm-hmm. It definitely so maybe was. there's a few areas that are, you know, maybe they've been the truth a little bit, but eh. I guess when you when you know a world so well, you can kind of you know identify that. So yeah. that happens in all television. Uh, and it's true. Um, some of the um, so, some of the best parts were just seeing people like I don't know, like Shen competing. I like seeing all the chili eating competitions that were featured there. That was really cool because as a competitor in a chili head, like. I don't know, it makes you want to go do challenges and it just fires you up. She took on an entire college. I thought that was pretty awesome. That was a really fun point. Such too. a yeah, flex. That was really cool. <laughs> love it. I, just, I do love it so much. Yeah, most episodes are like 30, 40 minutes. Very, very digestible. Yeah, Easy they are. Through, so. We did like yeah. two a night until yeah. it was over, something like that. Yeah. It's fun. I think one night we got carried away and did three. Yeah. So definitely, definitely recommend that. If you haven't watched, I'll I'll put a link in the description. Oh, that's great! Thanks. It's on on Hulu, um, stateside, and in Europe, it's on Disney Plus. Well, we watched it on Disney Plus too. So I think it's because we have a Hulu subscription, though. So like, a, like big oh, oh, yeah. oh, interesting. Cheers. Cheers. If I'm correct, Corky Fernando did eight of these. Oh, wow. That would be a lot of powder. Ooh. A lot of chocolate. Yeah. Same taste over and over. Well, not really. You get a little variation. Ah. Yeah, very, very approachable challenge. I would definitely, you know, I wouldn't make, I wouldn't, well, this could be a first challenge for someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very approachable. Ah, uh, sorry. I wonder, because, like, what, um, you know, what's the worst that happens? You get a little crampy. You just yeah. need to eat before and after. If, you are, if you're considering doing this for your first challenge, that's all I would say. I have a really tight skirt on right now, and I wish I didn't have it on. That happens to me, like, as a, as a chili head, I do these things. I'm like, why do you, why do you, you cramp do in? this? Uh, I have warm belly. Oh. I do. Yeah, and it's because of my skirt. It's literally pressing on my stomach. So I'm sitting here like, please, I just want to chug some milk. But, um... Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there's definitely powder in this challenge. And this is a legit challenge. I prepped with... I prepped with noodles covered in death by chocolate prima tolly sauce. <laughs> so, that was on me. Because I, I don't know. I always uh, forget that this is a powder challenge. <laughs> yes. This happened last time too, it always did. Uh, but yeah. So, this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll be back doing more challenges soon. I think, I think we've got a few lined up here. I have a world record I'm going to be reattempting. Um, I'm doing two of every League of Fire challenge, so yes. we have... Uh, some new harvest challenges that came in. Oh, that'll be fun. I can't wait to try those. There's some that are supposed to be really good tasting. We're going to do uh, two of the new harvest primatali chunks. The new Uncle Bull Cow Oh, challenge. yes. We have to do two of those. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, the Uncle Bull Cow, I think it's a, not a peanut brittle, but it's a, wait, maybe it is. That's broken up. Peanut bark. Ah, I don't want to do the wrong thing. It's a chocolate challenge. So. And, um... We've got some Harvest 912 lollies, the Mad Cow lollies, and I've been doing a lot of those lately, but um, can't wait to do more, because I think they're fun. They are fun. I feel better now. It went away. It was a mini mini wave of cramps, kind of. like it's just, it's just odd for me. It's because I have hot sauce and nothing else in my stomach. I don't care what your tolerance is. If you have an empty stomach, you know, get You're some powder in there. Yeah, yeah it does. Sure. It, it's nothing to do with tolerance at that point. Um, it's called you have an empty stomach and that's your problem. And that's my problem. But it is good for me to have a little cramp sometimes. Because honestly, I don't really cramp unless I have a high-waisted tight skirt on and I'm under prepped. So this is like a perfect storm here. But we're going to go out after this and I just wanted to be dressed. <laughs>
it is date night. Yeah. We yeah. have we have cramped many many uh, date nights. But so severe on some that like I had to go up to the car and just like recline the seat all the way back and like you know not crying because I'm in pain but like tears rolling down my face because I'm like gritting my teeth through the pain like. And Michael's inside, like sweating, trying to eat his food. <laughs> Eating really <laughs> stories. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was great. And you know, link in description. Link a link in description to Super Hot. Link in description to Brian Ann's recent video where he did this challenge. And link in description to League of Fire, where you can become a chili champion too. Chili eating champion. Chili challenge champion. League of Fire. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching, and hope you have a great day. Bye, everyone. See ya.